Hi, my name is Joe Jackson. I'm the owner of Metro Design, and today I'm going to show you three things you can do to boost your online presence, get you higher ranking on Google, and start bringing in those leads you're missing. Right, so we help build out this awesome business. So first things first. First things first. Um, I definitely recommend getting a website. Right, Facebook is good and all. Right, you'll get a couple leads here and there, uh, but definitely not enough to really take your business to the next level. Okay, Google is king. Uh, for searches because millions of people are searching for your service a day on Google, right? So if you're not on Google uh, getting recognized, if you're not relevant on Google, uh, you're missing out on several opportunities a day to really grow your business and take it to the next level. Okay, so definitely recommend getting a, a website. Website, right? We're going to go off of your number one competitor's website. I'm going to show you what they're doing right and um, how to beat them, right? How to start taking their leads and growing your business. Cool. So Google loves content. Okay. Um, content is king when it comes to Google. Okay. That's that's all it is, right? Um, so they want to see between 1,500 and 2,000 words on your home page. Okay. Now, obviously, very few people are going to re uh, read 2,000 words, right? But Google will, and they will know that you are the subject matter expert compared to somebody that only has, you know, 600 words. Does it make sense? So if we scroll, Okay, you can see that your competition has, you know, quite a few words on here, right? Uh, 900 words on his home page. Okay, so to outrank him on his home page, right, you're going to want to do that 1500 word goal Google likes to see. Okay, I also recommend throwing in keywords. Okay, keywords are what people are searching for in your area, right? So once you start ranking for those keywords, uh, you're going to start bringing in a lot of leads there as well. All right. Um, Google also loves big built out website pages you can add uh, on your website the better okay so you're gonna want to count how much pages uh, your competition has right so if he has nine you're gonna want to throw on ten pages okay you want to you're gonna want to beat them in every area you can okay make them look bad as much as you can all right um, and then on your back pages right Google still loves contents uh, they recommend you know the 500 to 700 word goal. <clears throat> um, your competition is doing about four to 600 words, right, on his back pages. So I recommend you doing you know 600 plus words on your back pages, right? Um, that's it for the you know the website the website part. Uh, moving on to citations. Okay, citations are your business name, address, and phone number on different websites. Okay, the more you have, it's going to be a lot easier for Google to rank you in the map pack. Once you start ranking for the map pack, you're going to start bringing in a lot of leads that way as well, right? So here's your number one, <clears throat> your number one competitor in the map pack. Okay, he has 75 citations. So 75 different uh, websites have his business name, address, and phone number. Here is the list, right? Here's all his citations, which is really cool because you can come in here and just click on click on all of them, uh, put your put your information in, and you got 75 sites, right? But remember, we're trying to blow this guy out of the water uh, in every area we can, right? We're trying to make him look bad as much as we can. Um, so you don't want to be, you know, just at 75, right? You know, do a hundred citations, right? There's hundreds of them up, up out there for grabs, uh, so go grab them, make your competition look bad, okay? Uh, there's a couple other things that are going to help you rank in the map pack as well that we can talk about later on if you would like. But moving forward to keep this video, you know, somewhat short, uh, the backlinks. Okay, backlinks are super important. Okay, this is how your website gets power, so you can rank on Google. And if you have good quality backlinks, it's going to help you rank a lot faster. All right. Um, another thing you want to keep in mind with backlinks is, you know, quality over quantity. Okay, if you go out there and get 20 bad backlinks, I go out there and get 10 good quality backlinks. Uh, my website is going to outrank yours every month. All right, and that's another thing. Backlinks are a monthly thing. Okay, you want to keep up on all your backlinks every month, right? You want to, uh, you know, put in more backlinks every month. Just keep building power and more power. Okay, once you stop, you know, doing backlinks every month, they're going to fall off and your website's going to drop back down to the bottom. Okay. So as you can see, this is your competitor, 109 websites, pushing 709 backlinks to his website, okay? So this is quite a bit of power, right, which is really good for him. Uh, it's definitely beatable, 
right? If you've got the right sources. Okay. <clears throat> you can also see that he has 472 keywords he's ranking for, right? Keywords are what people are searching for in your area. Remember, as you start ranking for those keywords, you're going to start bringing in a lot of leads, right? Um, and because he has those keywords, right? Because he has power from the backlinks every month, right? And because he has a perfect website, okay? He's bringing in 611 organic traffic to his website per month, okay? Which is awesome, right? Super exciting because that shows you that you have potential to get there too, right? If he can do it, you can do it, right? So, um, and then what would, you know, what would that do for you, right? What would that do for your business goals, okay? And what would that do for your personal goals? So definitely something to think about, definitely something to de uh, take advantage of, okay, if you're serious about taking your business to the next level. Uh, that's it, though, for this video. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you found it informative. Go ahead and reach back out to me if you have any questions. Um, you can call or text me anytime, 515-468-3039. Um, we love feedback, so if we don't hear from you, we will contact you for feedback. Um, so thanks for watching, and have a great day.